federal investigators were prepared to wrap up their NYPD corruption probe within days when a high-ranking cop committed suicide, sources told the Daily News. Inspector Michael Amery, 44, came under increased scrutiny in the days before his death in the mushrooming scandal that involves a pair of businessmen with ties to Mayor de Blasio. NYPD Deputy Inspector Michael Amery was found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound Friday. Details of the investigation could become public as soon as Monday or Tuesday, the sources said. Investigators questioned the head of the NYPD Highway Patrol Unit for a second time this past week, and popped into the unit's office Thursday in search of files, sources told the news. One day later, Amery drove his departmental car to a quiet street adjoining a Long Island golf course and fatally shot himself. His body was found Friday afternoon, with no suicide note left behind. The second grilling by FBI agents came at his West Babylon home, about three miles from where his body was discovered. Amery was specifically asked about providing police escorts and crowd control for Orthodox Jewish funerals in Brooklyn, sources said. Suffolk County Police guard Emery's West Babylon home after the shocking suicide. David Wexler, for New York Daily News. A source told the news that Emery, at worst, could have faced administrative and not criminal charges. The investigation focused on Orthodox businessman Jeremy Reichberg, 42, and Jonah Recknitz, 33. Both were de Blasio campaign contributors and members of the mayor's inauguration committee. The ongoing federal probe centers around suspected quid pro quo arrangements between the NYPD and businessman Jeremy Reichberg, L, and Jonah Recknitz, R. Baruch Azagui, Baruch Azagui, and both were suspected of gifting cops with jewels and lavish trips in return for special treatment. Amery, a 23-year police veteran, took over the highway unit in July 2014. The divorced dad became a proponent of Vision Zero, the campaign to curb traffic fatalities and injuries on city streets. He was also in favor of passing legislation making it easier for city cops to take a saliva swab at the scene of traffic accidents to identify drug-addled drivers.